Agriculture is feeding the world's 7.3 billion people, but at an unbearable social and environmental cost. One third of the world's land is degraded, up to 75% of crop genetic diversity has been lost, and more than half of fish stocks are fully exploited. At the same time, about 800 million people are undernourished. How is FAO addressing these challenges? For us, for FAO, sustainable food in agriculture is something uh, that's one of the most important issues for food security, for nutrition, for improving livelihoods. We cannot keep the level of natural resource degradation that we have now, so this is unsustainable. We need actually to look at uh, the, the more adaptation and resilience to climate change and also we need to increase productivity. So we are not just looking at the production but also we need to consider uh, the enhancement and the protection of the natural resources, basically the ecosystem services and biodiversity. The concept of, of sustainable food and agriculture also considers the improvement of livelihoods, well-being and gender equity. So a good governance is essential to change the policies at the country level, to change the way uh, that the ministries work together, the way that we can better integrate, for instance, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Ministry of uh, Natural Resources, sometimes Environment, Forestry and so on. Most important now, we need to link uh, sustainable food and agriculture to the new sustainable development goals. It's a much uh, broader approach and uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for the countries to implement. And that's why FAO has a very important role to play in that implementation. I think it's possible, but we need to start now. We cannot, we can no longer cope with uh, the model that we have and, and the approaches that we are using these days. So we need to look ahead and work in a more strategic way.